Hello, people. I am coming to you live so that I can talk about some of the fun items that I bring on either a Walt Disney World trip or on a Universal trip. It kind of depends. I typically go to both when I go down there every time. But um, this is just some stuff that might help you. There are some links below. Some of them are affiliate links. Some of them aren't. So check them out if any of these things interest you. Some things are wide ranging that a lot of people would want. And other things are just random things that I like that I bring along. So let's start. These are bit belts. And these are for magic bands. So if you have magic bands, I suggest that you get these. I'm not wearing a magic band right now, but I am wearing a watch. And this little part of your watch is very helpful. And it helps keep your magic band on if you have it. So these bit belts, that's what they do. They uh, allow you to keep that magic band on, especially if you're wearing a backpack. Not that I have any experience in this, but if maybe someone you're traveling with keeps taking off and putting on their backpack and rips off their magic band multiple times and loses it, I promise you the it's a pack of 12. Um, I've had this for two years now. We've never lost a bit belt before, so we still have all 12. Great idea. Just really something that you're going to want to have for your trip it buy it on amazon just get it and it's it's over with another thing that i have is this portable charger and it's from Anch anchor and this one actually has two different ports so i have one plugged in already and you can have, so you could have two separate things plugged into them at the same time. And I like it because both my husband and myself can have our phones charging at the same time if we need to. I, the cord that it comes with is pretty short. So I'm trying to find one. Uh, this is even too long. The cord that you get is like this big. So it's super short. So you want to make sure if that is, oh, here it is. If <laughs> this is it. So don't, um, <laughs> you don't want to have to um, use this really short cord if you don't have to. So I, I just had another cord that I use. That's what I use when I'm um, charging my iPhone. I like it because I can have it in my backpack and I can still like pull out my phone and use it when I need it. So it is very helpful and it does help that both my husband and I can charge our phones if you don't know, especially at Disney World, you do need to use your phone for ride times or if you're doing GD+. So you're going to want to have that extra charge just for you. All right. Now, moving on. This might be specific to, oh, I'll try and keep it things that people like, most people will use. But this is a little portable fan right here. goes like this. And I like it because it's soft and my child can use it and it's very small so he can use it if he's hot or things like that i definitely like it we have another bottle that sprays that we just i don't even know i think it's just like a spray bottle from the dollar store um that we also bring but like it gets so cumbersome to bring all these like large items into the parks all the time so we find that this fan and <clears throat> these cooling towels. There are like so many different types of cooling towels out there. So it kind of depends on what you're looking for. But this is um, this cooling towel. And if you're there in the summer, you will see people wearing cooling towels. You can wear them around your neck. You can wear them like a shade like this. There's all different types of ways to do them, but basically you get this wet in a sink and then you like wring it out and kind of snap it a little bit and then it starts to work. There are different types of ones. I like this one because it fits in this flat little case here and I could just throw it in here when I'm not using it 
and it keeps everything else dry. So even if you're like me who just shoves it all in there, other people would like to, you know, fold it all up. You're kind of busy sometimes. Yes, thank you. Those towels are key, especially if you remember them when you're going to the parks. Not that I've ever forgotten any. Um, okay, some of the other items that I also like to bring into the parks are ponchos. And I do have some of the like, ex I don't want to say expensive, but the Disney purchased uh, reusable um, ponchos, but I got a pack of 12 of these off Amazon and it's for a family. So it's eight adult ones and four kids ones. Perfect. Because if we need it, we can throw them on and then just throw them away. It's hard sometimes to keep them and um, want to save them, you know, because packing this all back up is not always so great. So just something to think about when you're going into the parks. The other thing I have, which I have most recently purchased, is there are these like water booties. And these are to help keep your shoes dry for when it's raining. And if you don't know in Florida, it doesn't just rain. It like downpours, soaks. And if you're stuck in the rain for 10 seconds, you're already soaked. So keeping your shoes dry is super helpful. Now, this is going to work for you. You still need to be, even though there are treads at the bottom, you still need to be careful when you're walking through them. And you need to buy, they are specific to your shoe size. So they will come up tight at the top of your ankles. So make sure that you're just aware of that when you're buying them. They are per shoe size and it's true to your shoe size. So this helps you. And I would say I would not buy this if you are going to the parks like Disney World one time. This is not, this is for people who go like multiple times or you're in a situation in your life where you're going to be outside multiple times where it's going to be raining and you want your shoes to stay dry. <clears throat> All right. I got to take a little water break. It's hard to do a live without someone else here because I can't do all those fun things that I normally do to take a break. All right, another thing that I also bring with me is a plastic bag. And not just one, but I bring like a few and I just grab them from my house before we go and I throw them in the suitcase. You could use them for so many different things. Wet clothes, dry clothes, um, extra food when you're out eating, if you want to bring some stuff, especially if you're Disney, a lot of the buffets, you know, you're paying that price for that food. So you could take some of that food with you, even if you can't finish it, especially if you have those kids who want snacks later on. This is a great idea. You can bring that. If you're going to get Gideon's co uh, cookies, you can pack them up in here. Then you don't have to bring that huge box home. All helps. So that's another fun item. One of the biggest things I'm very late to the party about this is packing cubes. And I thought packing cubes were like the silliest thing ever. I was like, who needs a packing cube? You don't need to do that. Like just throw your stuff in. Now as a child, I totally get it. I pack, my son and I typically share a suitcase because my suitcase is gigantic as you can see in the background here with my hammer. <laughs> because I'm hammering it close. So you, with the packing cubes, I pack his stuff in one bag, my stuff in another. And then when we get to the hotel, I can unpack it in the drawers and just open up. I'll just open up the top and leave everything else in there. And I just know like his stuff is in this drawer or his stuff is in the, I have multiple packing cubes. So um, the green ones are his and the pink ones are mine. And these are his shirts, these are his shorts, these are his socks. And I could kind of separate them all out. What also helps me, because I have a lot of, I don't want to say like a lot of random stuff, but like for my park bag stuff, I use my park bag as my carry-on. So I can't have the stuff that I would have in my park bag packed in my bag. So what I do is I take a smaller packing cube, put everything that I'm going to have in my um, park bag, and then I have it here in my packing cube so that when I go, I could just pull all that stuff out of the packing cube, throw it in there, all set. 
So that probably rounds out the common things that people might bring. These are now moving into the more uncommon things that you might bring. So one of them that is specific to Disney is these decals for the window and mine is Christmas, obviously. Um, but any kind of like the gels or anything that you want to decorate your windows with, you might want to bring. If you're staying at a value or a moderate resort, a lot of times people are decorating the windows and it's just like a cool, fun thing to do. Obviously, you don't need to do it. Um, around the holiday season, you'll see Halloween and um, Thanksgiving and Christmas. You will see the windows decorated. I've seen people do it for the birthdays. I've seen people do it for anniversaries, for all types of different things. So you are free to decorate your windows how you want. You just have to make sure that you can take those things off. So it personalizes your room a little bit. It gives my son love doing it. It gave him something to do in the morning, the first morning, so we could get ready. So always something helpful to have with you. Now, this is my, by far, my favorite travel item I've ever purchased in my entire life. I love this thing. I talk about this all the time. So this is my travel teapot. And yes, I have a travel teapot. Because if you drink tea, those silly little coffee makers, whatever they are in the room, are the worst things in the world. I don't want tea tasting coffee. Like that's all it is. The coffee, I don't like, I don't even understand how many coffee grounds can get into a cup. But if you use one of those coffee makers to make tea, there is no way it tastes like tea. It just tastes like you're like biting coffee grounds the whole time. It is horrible. So this is my travel teapot. It does come obviously with a cord. So you can plug it in. You can plug it into the wall, obviously, just like any other item that you need power for. So, but this cord does come out. So when you travel, you take it out and this collapses and it fits in your little suitcase. And I, so a lot of times I will travel with just a carry on bag. This totally fits in my carry on bag. It's very flat. It's very durable. Like the handle is very hard. So you don't have to worry about it breaking. Um, when you fill it, it does have a fill button. Um, it's on the back. There's no way you're going to see that, but you can fill it to about here. It will make about two, two cups of tea for you. It takes about six or seven minutes and there's just an on off switch. This is silicone. So you just need to be careful. Um, if you have like small kids in the room, you just want to like back it up. I put it, um, I usually put it in the bathroom. Um, there's normally like a place where you could put it so like a kid could not like easily reach at it. Um, and it does cool down pretty fast. So, and it's very quiet. Like I, if you're a tea person at home, it's, it's much quieter than your tea kettle at home. So it is very useful to have. Love this favorite item ever. I don't just bring it with me on a regular trip. I, I mean, on a Disney trip, I bring this on every trip that I ever go on because then I have tea all the time. So I just wanted to show you that part again because it's so fun. All right, I'm on to my last item. And this item, again, might be for some and not on others. But this, I know a lot of people get their nails done um, specifically when they go on a Disney trip or on a Universal trip. But this is um, S. This is Essie um, nail polish, and it's Expressy. <laughs> That's what they call it, Expressy. Um, and this dries in a minute. So, and you don't need a top coat or a base coat when you put it on. It looks just like a top coat or a base coat. So it's already all set. It takes about one minute. If you do multiple layer, um, multiple coats, so it will take longer. Um, I typically say like five minutes for if you're doing two coats. I do it, I bring it for my, um, sometimes I bring it for my toes or sometimes I bring it for my hands, depending on like what kind of a trip I'm having. If I'm doing um, both Universal and Disney, sometimes I won't get my nails done for Disney. Um, cause then it makes my pictures for universal look kind of silly. So, um, 
So that's why sometimes I will um, use this instead. I really like it. It's quick. It's fast. There's like 40 colors. So no matter what color you pick, it's, um, it's pretty good. So that will pretty much do it. The only other thing that I will say that I do bring on every trip is my wand for Universal. So I do bring my, this is Harry's wand. Um, this is, I bring this wand all the time because, hey, you never know what's going to happen. And, you know, you need to be prepared for any people who are out there when you're at Universal. So, all right. So that will wrap it up. The information below will show you some links. Remember, they are affiliate links if possible. If not, you know, I'm just trying to help you guys out. So, um, let me know what your favorite item is and what you always pack for your trip. Bye.